Hi, class. I was going to give you a quick tour here of Google Classroom because it occurred to me some people are using Google Classroom, but they don't know how to find everything. Uh, and being able to find assignments and complete them is very, very important, especially since so many teachers are using Classroom this year, including me. Uh, first of all, we need a quick and easy way to get to Google Classroom. You could Google it, but that's you know extra time wasted. I happen to have it bookmarked, and you can see it here at the top of my screen in my bookmarks bar. For everyone else, the first way, to, easiest way to find it, click on the waffle menu that's in the upper corner here, and scroll around until you find Classroom. For me, it's very near the top. I click on Classroom, it'll bring me right to the Google Classroom homepage. To bookmark it, Click on this star here. You see my star is already filled in. That means it's bookmarked. Your star is probably hollow. Click on it, it'll add a bookmark and it'll be either at the top of your screen here or the chevrons here, click on those and there's more bookmarks there. It'll save wherever your latest bookmark is. When you open Classroom, this takes you to the page that has all of your classes in it. Some students don't know this, but you can sort these into any order that you want. Uh, I have mine sorted into order by class period. Got my homeroom zero, Squire Concert Band one, Cadet Band three, Squire String Orchestra four, five, six, and some other classes that I also have there. And to reorder them, just grab a class, drag it where you want it to be, and put it back down again. And I'm going to put it back where it was because I want these classes in order. If your teacher asks you to go to their Google Classroom, open Classroom, find their class, and then click directly on it. Your teacher doesn't want you to be looking at other things in your Chromebook, like watching YouTube videos or uh, scrolling through, uh, through old documents you have or looking at your Google Drive or drawing pictures. If I say go to your Google Classroom or go to Google Classroom for this class, go straight to the homepage for that class. In this case, I've opened Squire Concert Band. Whenever you open a class, it brings you to what we call the stream first. Now, the stream is a hard way to find things because everything is so cluttered. It's basically just in the order that the teacher assigned them or created them. And then you'll also have uh, random comments for the class that are that are inserted in there. Some teachers let you type in comments. Sometimes only the teacher can, can type in comments. But it makes it really hard to find things when there's so much extra stuff there. If you want to find an assignment, for example, if I wanted you to look up the submitting video assignment we did the other day, the stream is a hard way to do it. If I look hard enough, though, I can find it. I just got to keep scrolling back until I get, get to that one. It'll say Alan Anderson posted, and then I've got to find the one that Mr. Anderson posted. The better way to find assignments is in the classwork section. If you click on classwork, and I know not all of you have done this because when I showed you how to do this the other day, it popped up with a, a pop-up window that said, got it, which means, meant you hadn't got it, you hadn't been there before. Now, the cool thing about the classwork tab is the teacher can sort it by topic. So it's not just a stream of consciousness, it's organized in order. For me, I have just general assignments that don't really fit into a category at the top. Then you can see weekly practice assignments, daily agendas, optional assignments, and at the bottom, useful resources. So if you know you're looking for just a general assignment like submitting classroom, submitting videos in classroom, you can see that it's there at the top of the page. You don't have to hunt for it. You can find it. Again, they're posted here in the order that they were assigned, although the teacher can drag things around to put things that are higher priority at the top. If the teacher says, hey, I want you to go find this new thing I posted, you can bet it's going to be at the top of one of the lists. For me, I always have the daily agenda for today at the top of the list. Whatever our latest practice sheet is at the top of the list. Now, um, what everyone doesn't know is there's a third way that you can find your assignments. All of your Chromebooks come with a calendar built in. To find the calendar, I can either go to my launcher and find it that way, or on any computer that I'm signed into, I can open a new tab by clicking on plus, click on the waffle menu over here like I did before, and open my calendar. Now you may have several different calendars over here in this list, uh, including one for every class. You can see I've got a calendar for Cadet Band 3, Cadet Band 6, uh, Concert Band 1. I've only selected the class I was just working on, Squire Concert Band. And now if I look over in my calendar here, I can see all of the assignments that Mr. Anderson has posted for that class. Um, so if I need to find something that's due on a particular day, for example, I know my practice assignment is due on Friday. There it is. If I click on it, I'll see the instructions exactly as they appeared in classroom, including a link. If I click on the link for the assignment, it'll take me to a new tab 
in Google Classroom and take me straight to the assignment. So then now mine looks different from yours. Your uh, practice sheet is up here. I can click on my practice sheet to fill it out. I can click on the add a file button to upload my video. I can click the turn in button on the screen. So that's three ways you can find things. The hard way on the stream, the organized way uh, that the teacher is organized by topic under classwork, or I can go into my calendar, I can find things that way. This should help you find things quickly in Google Classroom. So when the teacher says, hey, I need you to find that new assignment, you don't waste 10 minutes of the class's time while you look for it or draw pictures. Instead, you can use one of those three methods to go straight to the thing you're looking for. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe if you want, or hey, you're gonna see me in class anyway. Have a great day.